Hello and welcome. Um, this is Coolidge, and we're going to play some more uh, Europa, Europa Universalis IV, uh, Conquest of Paradise. Um, I'm going to try to play as France. I have played as France a couple times, but not very far into them. Let's see. Cloud. Yeah. 1567. Let's see what I got there. It's just France with vassals of Brittany, Brandenburg, Cologne, Peltonet. Oh, I'm probably the emperor. <laughs> I, I I do that often. Lorraine inherited, weirdly enough, in this game, inherited everything. Not Austria. That that I I did think that that was weird. Um, but we're gonna go back to the historical start, and we're gonna play as France. We're gonna see what we can do. I, th I th because of the a uh, because of AE being lessened, I think I can I can really make some headway. Um, yeah. Let's, let's try to conquer the world, shall we? And we start off the war with, um, with England. Um, Got some amazing guys here. You go kick their ass. Is that just all my troops? Yeah. So we go, and we're at six of six because we have just tons of vassals. We have to start. I think I want to. Start. Playing the marriage game immediately. And they rivaled me. Great. I might be able to get an alliance out of Austria, though. So the English, of course, the AI isn't doing what it should do. Uh, December 12th, probably, right? Yeah. Play this game too much that I know that. If I. Shit. Go 
faster. You're not going to make it. Excellent. I don't want to siege. I want my vassals to siege. Well, actually, I want Provence to siege. <laughs> wherever we need to because I can't really attack them other than just of course my vassals start doing this shit at least I can make them siege now <laughs> By all means. Continue to just fuck your war score. It's fine. Just stay here. They seem to like to go to either Pontier or... Once these are all sieged, then we'll be able to have my vassal. Um, let's see how much money I'm making. Three? Oh, nice. I should have... So, diplomacy, troop relations, uh, improve relations. I'm going to want to annex them as soon as possible. Um, hopefully the King of Burgundy will die and I won't have to really deal with them. I'll just get all this. Um... I'm also going to start I think I have uh, s yeah I'll have CB on on uh, on them immediately Barrios is leads personal union with Lorraine they are at 
I'm sorry. Provence leaves the person leading him with right. I don't know why Navarra, like, what are they doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? on these? No. You're just patrolling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Wait, who, who did that? Burgundy. Alright. I'm gonna do that to you as well. Uh, we'll stop on you. <coughs> you. Sorry about that. I apologize. Um, so. Yeah, look at everyone. Even Navarro. <laughs> um, and then we go to economy actions and we issue an embargo ourselves. And then we talk about peace over here. Are they? Am I protecting them? Yeah. All right. Well, let's just sue for peace. Let's see what we can get. the core of Armagnac. Yeah. See, I'm fine with that because they're my vessel. <laughs> I obviously don't want Provence. So forty one. Well, either that, well, instead of Calais, well, this is twelve, that's well, eighteen. No. I just want to get out of this war. So. We're out. Oh, it's because. It, it's because the war score went down in between.
So, I'm a Nyak. Interesting. Independence supported by Burgundy. We'll have to see what happens there. just inherit them. Alright, so... Back to doing this. <laughs> and now we gotta think about what do we want to do? Well... Allied with Savoy and Tuscany. And okay. Should probably get rid of some of these. At least that one. I kind of like having these nice ones around. Yeah, we need you. Stop. to declare war to take oh oh yeah I can get a few more guys all right I'm gonna take a break right here and after this we're gonna go uh We're going to go attack Provence. Thanks. <laughs> 